So doing valve clearances on these double R engines. So I've got my timing mark. You just see it in there. Set on T. A few of these cams, the slots are facing each other. Intakes are always slightly down, so don't be too alarmed by that. And there's some um, slots on the actual gear itself in the camshaft. That should be parallel with the head. You see that intake one slightly different. Don't be too alarmed. So that means cylinder one, you can see the lobes are up, got the feeler gauges in the way. So now I can check this one. I've got a 0.201 in here now. So it's just a bit jumpy. And you're measuring between the cam lobe and the bucket itself. So there's the so these two cams are sort of facing each other in a sense. So that's cylinder one. And then I transfer all my settings on this little sheet. Makes it easy to keep track. So now to move the cylinder two, what I'll do is I, I turn the motor over until I start to see the cams face each other that way. And then look over in the slots and you'll get exhaust slot down. That one up with intake. So it's cylinder two. Keep going over. Just freeze up. So exhaust slot up, intake down. Now cylinder four I can stay actually. Come around. It's coming around, and you'll see the slot face to the outside and cylinder 4 is ready to be checked. <clears throat> so I'm getting ready to take the exhaust cam out. So what you need to do is remove this pipe. There's two Allen keys here. Just give that a wiggle and that should pop up. Just careful not to lose the o-ring. See that one stayed in the head. That one's on the pipe. Now I've cracked all these bolts loose and I've put them back in a few threads because I find the easiest way is to do the pop method uh, and just give the tam a cam a light tap of rubber mallet so this cam was uh, quite stuck they get stuck in the, um, the metal dowels they go into the head and the pop method didn't really work that well so I've had to go just put a bolt where the rock cover goes in you can have wiggle it out <coughs> oh also <coughs> these are labelled exhaust 4 and you've got the curve for the spark plug hole. You could actually mount it that way, there, but the tap cover will never go on because it's got the recess for tap cover spark plug hole. The other thing to note too, <coughs> now I've loosened this camshaft off, just have a look where that slot is because now the scissor gear is unloaded. Uh, it's crucial when you put it back together because it will turn. So always make sure you get the slot roughly in the same gear. Now just do one of these at a time. I just use like a kid's um, dart magnet thing. And the shim's under there. Alright, so that's the shim there. It's really hard to read, that's why I often use my vernier calipers. So it's a 192. Now the clearance was 0 0.30. So I had a 192. So I'm going to go up. Uh, my next one available is a 195, ideally it'd be 198. So I've gone free up, we should bring this free down, or point free down. So it should be around 0 0.7, 0 0.27. I'll put the 195 and see how we go. I like to write what was in there, what's been put in. So once I check the valve clearance again, if it's not right, I know what I've got in there already. And I can work out, do I have the one I need in, on hand?